Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you how to do a marbleized background with acrylic block. Rosie had uh, sent me a picture and it was a card similar to that and I said I sent her both of my video that I got background with acrylic block but it was not the marble one. One was one color and the other one was just like stripe and she really wanted to know how to do the marble eyes. So let's get started. I'm going to show it to you on watercolor paper. Both of them are on watercolor paper and this one it's on regular white cardstock. And so I'm going to show it to both of you. So on your watercolor paper you get a side that it's smooth and a side that it's rough. Depending what I'm doing sometimes I prefer one side to the other. For this technique I prefer the smooth side. So now I'm using the block which one? D. Make sure this is very clean. What I use, I use Perel or hand sanitizer, can be the non-brand one, whatever. And I just wash my block very good. Here's my very inking uh, rag here. Some people say damage your block. Well, to be honest with you, I've been doing that for a while and for me it worked great. So I don't want to say it will not damage your block, but that's what I do. So now for today we're going to use Bermuda Bay, uh, Mossy Meadow, and um, Pierre Pizzazz. Mine I use a little bit of Pool Party, but to be honest, the Bermuda Bay take care of all the blue. So I'm going to start with just a little bit of, um, just to guide me my pattern that I want. So you barely see that color, right? Well, if I put white under, maybe you can see, yeah. See? Now I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay and I'm going to add, I want more, here we go. And this is very important though, you go like this when you're done. In case if you get the other color, then you save your marker. And then I'm going to take the green. Remember the green, it's very dark, this one. So I'm going to go just here and there. And now uh, I tried to do another video. And with the camera, when I spritz the water, I was too close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what to do. But I'm going to have to move myself from the camera a little bit. And then I can... Okay, so now you see, oh, let me show you like this. I see there I'm missing a little bit. Here we go. Now I'm taking water in a spritzer. This is plain water. You have to go about 12 inch and with my camera here in the lens, I don't have a chance. So I'm going to move aside and just do a light miss. And the our uh, stamping up uh, bottle are the best for that. It's very light. And then I'm going to come here. And to be honest, I forget one of the important steps. Let me see if I can move this. Well, I can. Let me add it on. Here's my phone. It make a big difference with your phone. Let me miss that again with just water. See, I didn't even add more color. I'm just going to come right back on top of it. Here we go. And you can squeeze just a little bit. And voila, my friend. You get your background. So, um, if you wanted a little bit more blue here, like there, you can always just lightly. I think I was missing while it's still wet. Now you can take your rag too and just dab, dab, dab. Voila. So this is how you've done your background. I'm going to show both of them and then we're going to stamp the three. It's sheltering three. Now let's wash this again. It's just ink so I don't have to use the Perel. It's just when you get like sticky stuff in that you want to uh, use the hand sanitizer. Now I'm going to show you two different ways on regular white cardstock. 
first we're going to use it with water just like we did okay so now you know how to do this i'm going to do the scribble very quick here i'm not even adding the light green just so you can see uh, how to do it on boat and this one here I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like it with water on the regular paper. You're going to see why. So now you see, I get all my marble. I'm going to take the water again, do the same thing. Do a very light mist. If you hear more than one, that means I miss my block. <laughs> Turn it around and put it on top of your paper. Well, let's remove this so it's more deep yes okay we're going to let that dry and you're going to see the difference in a minute now let's come back and i'm going to show you the way that i like on regular paper i'm going to do my blue here and So it's whatever you feel like. Right now I'm looking like if I get the sky, some green, whatever you feel like, some water. A little bit more blue. Okay. Remember, wash your uh, marker after. Now what I'm using, I'm using rubbing alcohol to 70%. Why the rubbing alcohol? It's because it dries super, super fast compared to water and it won't bow your paper. So now I'm going to spray this. This was with the alcohol. And I'm going to smack this right here. Voila. So the difference between the two this here, if you touch it, it's rough and it's bubbly. This is smooth, smooth, and look, it's already dry. Now, to do the three, what i done, I just stamped uh, my lovely, not lovely as a tree, but sheltering tree. I stamped that with chocolate chip. And I, I'm thinking of spring right now, you know? So I'm going to put that right here. And let's do one with the right here. Okay, instead of taking all the leaves this year, all the round one for the leaf, I used a tiny bit here, just a tiny little one. Why am I doing that and not all the leaf? It's because I want to, I'm thinking spring, all the leaves are not there yet. So what I done, I take this with pure pizzazz and just add a few of the leaves because it's just starting to bloom. It's spring season here. So you see just a little bit. And I'm going to show you the difference. Voila. And then I use my greeting. But let me show you the finished product. So now you know how to do the background. See when it's all done, how lovely it is. I really like on watercolor. This looks like a stream coming down. Okay, now this one here, that's my belly, by the way. I need to go eat breakfast. This one I did all the leaves. This one I just did a little bit. So it looked more kind of naked, but then at the same time, it looked more spring to me. This here, the twine there, it's not on linen uh, thread. What I use, it's our burlap ribbon, and then just peel it up. Cut the side where the stitches is, and then you just peel it up and it make your curly thing. This is it, my friend, how to do the marble uh, background with the acrylic block. Hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy making them. And for all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. Plus, I will have the cards there um, to tell you the dimension and that. Thank you so much and have a great day, my friends.